I'm just saying we all occupy in our own way. You occupy your fucking filthy Portland hippie selves because you hate the 1% and you hate the banks because of their predatory lending practices against the people and enslave them in a lifetime of debt. What'd you do about it? You stunk up a park for almost a year. I occupy far more efficiently. Maybe you should look to me for leadership. I hate the banks as well as we all do. How did I fuck them? I spent three hours jacking up mother's Chase Bank Visa card after she's dead up to its $10,000 limit, buying dumb shit that no one needs and sticking them with the bill because she had no estate except for that blind fucking last cat. If you want to repo that, have at it. That actually caused damage to the bank. Not sitting around with a dog with a kerchief and a cardboard sign, <laughs> slapping on drums in a drum circle. The fucking Occupy movement was such a letdown because you seemed like me, angry and we're gonna take to the streets and holy shit, around the globe, people are, fuck this, we're gonna do something. And what did you do? You fucked up a park. All you fucked up in a year is some guy's day who wanted to throw a frisbee for his dog, but you, he couldn't because you're all camped out there. You hate the banks? Don't fuck up the park, fuck up the bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's in charge of this project? Next time me. We don't really have leadership. You needed some. <laughs> you have 500 angry people in a park Go break them up into squads of 20. You can fuck up every branch of Bank of America in a 50 mile radius. Go there. And not as anarchists either, throwing bricks through the windows. What are you, a fucking teenager? Have some ingenuity. You line up as customers at eight o'clock in the morning. They only have two desks to do actual commerce other than cashing checks and shit. You clog up those two desks as bogus customers. Sit down, cross your legs, apply for frivolous loans all day long. That's a lot of paperwork for every frivolous. Yes, I need a billion dollars for an ant farm. Sharpen some pencils, that's a big stack of paperwork. I'd love some coffee. You comb your dreadlocks over to one side, put on your $3 Salvation Army suit, and you clog up all their time. Or you could deny me the right to apply for the loan, and then I sue the fuck out of you for discrimination, causing even more damage to your bottom line, rather than just sitting out there in a park getting tear gassed by cops. What does that do? What are you accomplishing? I got it on tape. Police abuse. Yeah, police abuse people. That's how it works. You're never gonna win. Yeah, well, you're gonna fight that and eventually they'll go, it was justified. I was laying there. I'm paralyzed. I was face down in the park. They tased me. Justified. Yeah. Why aren't you the cops? That's a better idea. You had a fucking year in a park. The first week of Occupy, you should have called everyone with no police record out, made them go, applied to be police, you'd have had people that have gotten through the academy, they're in the works now, they're moles on your side, they're sitting in there in a riot helmet with a Bluetooth underneath the Star Wars helmet, calling you in the park, giving you heads ups. Hey, Kevin, you might want to put on a gas mask around 7.45 a.m., you know what I'm saying? Thanks, Shane, but we're already wearing gas masks because we haven't showered in seven and a half months and Angela's snatch is really starting to reek up the pup and something ferocious. But keep fighting the good fight, power to the people. Good Christ, you could have done so much with that. There's a fucking million ways you could have been clever. I, 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 I love, that's why I love like WikiLeaks and anonymous, because they're actually in there. They're fucking with the system. They're not sitting around chanting, slapping bongos. Bradley Manning didn't get to release all that information by sitting in a drum circle. He had to get inside. That's why you should fucking read up on Scientology, and I'm serious. 
Scientology is brilliant. If you read this book, Inside Scientology, it's a breakdown of how that evil motherfucker created that religion in a modern time. Every other religion people believe in, you only believe in it because all your ancestry did. This guy had to create this and sell it to adults recently. <laughs> it's as stupid as any other religion, but how did he do it? How did he create this Leviathan? Read this book, Inside Scientology, and apply those evil tactics to Occupy, and you have a fucking winning recipe. You follow L. Ron Hubbard's intimidation, infiltration, harassment, blackmail, complete abuse of the legal system, where you just turn a crossed eye stink look at Scientology and they'll sue you into poverty. You use that for good. You know what L. Ron Hubbard didn't have in his master plan for world domination? Drum circle! It doesn't do anything! You're sitting up, no one wants to hear that. It's annoying as shit. You had enough time in a year to learn how to play real instruments. You could have had a whole New Orleans style jazz swing band that people want to hear. Boom, 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 boom. But instead, what?